If we want to unlock the serve, then one of the key locks that we have to unlock is the wrist. And one of the main reasons why the wrist is locked is because the grip of the racket is very tight. When we grip the racket very tight, then actually the whole arm becomes very tight and locked. And so we have to learn how to serve fast and with control, but without a tight grip. And I use this very cool drill to teach the players how to do that. And it's basically a grocery bag with four tennis balls in it. And you place it around your wrist, and you spin it around like this. And as you can see, I don't have to grip the bag and it will stay on my arm. So now let me show you how the drill works. So now that the bag is now attached to my arm, I can accelerate this bag and I don't have to squeeze the grip or I don't have to squeeze the handles because the bag is attached to my arm and that's how I learn that I can actually accelerate these balls really fast and I don't need a tight grip or I don't even need any tension. I have to learn how to accelerate and it's not really about punching or hitting like most tennis players believe that the serve is. They think it's like a punch or a push or something like that. But actually it's a throw, it's an acceleration, it's a release. And so we want to generate a lot of energy and then release it into the racket handle. And so this teaches us really well that there is no need to grip the handles and what it means to accelerate. And one of the reasons why I use this relatively noisy bag is because it tells me how fast I am accelerating, I can hear it. I can hear really well how the ball is accelerating. And then the next part of the drill is to hold the bag with just two fingers. And this will give me another idea what it means to accelerate. And now you can hear really well where I accelerate the bag. And as I talked in one of the previous videos, we have a tendency to accelerate fast somewhere here, but this is not where the point of contact is. So this is another drill to learn, which helps us with the sound, that we have to accelerate the bag up here, or in other words, later, you have to accelerate the racket. And so I have to learn to accelerate the bag up here. And as you can see, I'm basically holding it with two fingers and I'm teaching my wrist that it doesn't have to be tight and I'm teaching my hand that it doesn't have to squeeze the racket in order to achieve a high speed up here. So we can now progress to the racket and try the same idea. Now that you have experienced what it means to accelerate a weight in your hand without gripping the handles tight in case of the bag, now you need to experience that with the racket. And the first step is to actually just swing the racket and try to accelerate it and experiment with how light you can grip the racket. So you don't want to grip the racket tight, you want to grip it light like before you did with the handles of the bag and try to feel that you can accelerate it really fast and actually will hear that. And then the next step is to actually hit a few balls, but don't aim into the court because that will immediately trigger too much control and your wrist will lock. So don't, don't aim anywhere, just try to feel how you can accelerate the racket through the ball and have a light grip. And that will just give you more experience, more feel of what's actually happening with the serve. And then with practice and aiming in your mind, you will be able to actually direct the ball in the court.